Hey guys, here's my uh, jet 14 inch with the 6 inch riser added. This is an old, old jet. It's got the old blue color, but it still works amazing. The only problem is after I added the, uh, the riser, this isn't quite in alignment. So what happens is if, uh, when I raise and lower this, I have to readjust the guides because see the, the blade is way off to the right there. When I raise it up, it'll be way off, I think, to the, to the left when I raise it up. But uh, other than that, you know, people tell me, well, I got to shim the, the block, the riser block. And I, get, uh, I get around to do that. It sounds like a real pain in the ass, a lot of trial and error, a lot of taking it apart, putting the shim, tighten up the blade, see if it's good. And, uh, I don't know. I don't know if it's worth it. I think it might be easier just to adjust the blades every time I raise and lower this thing. And here's my, uh, my lighting kit. Uh, thanks to, uh, courtesy of Harbor Freight. That works really well. Put this on. Lights up my little work area. And what's great is if, you know, if I need to get something really big in there I could always take that off put it on the side you know just not even use it if I don't want it. or I could put it way over here on the cast iron part it still lights up but you know doesn't take any uh, resaw height away great little light love it the other addition I recently made to this because everybody tells me uh, if you're gonna leave your bandsaw, don't leave the blade tightened because it, you know, crushes your tires and stretches the blade and does all sorts of bad stuff if you leave the blade tension, you know, really tight. So this one, unfortunately, since it's an old model, it doesn't come with a quick release. So I saw one on YouTube that looked just like this. And I made it myself. This piece here kept rocking back and forth like that because I guess it wasn't thick enough. So all I did was added a piece exactly like it behind it and I put two screws in there. This just gets drilled right through and what you have to do, well this is straight. This piece cut like that and that but down here, I don't know if you can see it but it's a big uh, like slot. It's kind of like a triangle shaped hole in there if you could see it and you'll see why because when you lift this up you lift this up and pull this piece out like that and then this drops down you'll see that it has to go like that and this is just a uh, piece of dowel that I drilled a hole through and I drilled a hole and I put a nail in there you know if you could see it and put a nail in so and it goes right through the steel bar I drilled a hole right through that and it goes right through the two washers in there stained this up I waxed everything nicely and what's neat there the tension is off and you can see uh, oh you know what I shouldn't even be touching this thing Let's unplug this there Let's unplug the uh, blade tension is off I don't want to mess with that too much because it'll pop off the wheel in there because it's really loose now. And it works great. And then to put it back, so I just added this is a, a scrungie. It's just like an old, you can use an elastic band, or whatever. And I put it around here and around the base of that. So when you pick this up, you don't have to do anything, it does it for you. Pops right in there like that. And there, your blade tension is exactly how it was before. Really neat. Thank you, YouTube. Forgot what user posted that, but I should uh, look it up and post a link to his channel because I'm not the one who came up with this idea. Somebody else did. And of course, I took it and used it because that's what they want people to do when they post these things. So, anyway, there you go. There's my wonderful jet bandsaw. Okay, take care, guys. Bye bye.